Hey everybody, welcome to Jojo's Corner. Today I'm going to be reviewing for you the second book in the Adventures of Odyssey Passages series written by Paul McCusker. This one is titled Aaron's Judgment. One minute, Wade Mullins was in Odyssey, attempting to burn his friend's top secret drawings for the atomic bomb. The next he knew, he was in an alternate world staring at a man with different colored eyes. This strange prophet says Wade is the final sign, an end-time omen of a culture on the verge of annihilation. But a power-mad tyrant sees opportunity in the boy. Wade will usher in a new age of power thanks to his bomb-making knowledge. But only when innocent people begin to die does Wade understand how deceived he's been. It's do-or-die time. Can Wade stop the madman's reign of terror the bomb will surely bring? Or is destruction inevitable as these people reap what they've sown? Let me tell you three things that I did like about this book. The first thing is lots of action. It's fast paced. It moves quickly. There's lots of stuff happening. There's no lagging in this storyline. The second thing I liked about it is that even though it's loosely based on a story in the Bible, it's still not too predictable. It's very similar to that Bible story, but yet very different and very unique in its own way. The third thing that I really liked about this book is the twists and turns. Everyone in Morris begins to get ill, some people start to die, and Wade thinks that he knows the reason. But the truth of what's happening surprised me, and I think it'll surprise you too. To me, the message of Aaron's judgment was just to be careful about feeling the need to be important. We all want to feel special. We all need to feel needed or wanted. But we have to be careful that we don't let those desires and feelings cause us to compromise things that we know are the right thing to do. If you're into adventure stories, if you're into uh, stories with action and time travel and going to different worlds, I highly recommend them to you. So from JoJo's Corner, happy reading. Bye, everybody.